Is the DC Universe dead in the water before it even reboots under James Gunn and Peter Safran? I'm Troy from Marks on Movies, and today we're talking about Henry Cavill passing the red cape off and setting down his Superman. I can hear the collective hearts of millions breaking across a planet. Before we begin, please like this video, subscribe to the channel, and click the bell to be notified whenever we post brand new videos. We bring you new content every single day of the week, whether it's about movies, TV, video games, and of course, pro wrestling. Now on with the story. You can find the links to the articles I'm reading from comicbook.com down in the video description. Henry Cavill releases statement about Superman exit, quote, My turn to wear the cape has passed. Warner Bros. Discovery has been all over the place with their plans for the DC Comics adaptations, and things have been getting more and more confusing. James Gunn and Peter Safran will head the newly minted DC Studios as co-CEOs with the expectation of crafting a 10-year plan. Gunn and Safran plan on revealing their plans for the DC Universe very soon, with the former revealing that he's working on a brand new Superman movie that will focus on the character in his younger years. We'll get to that in a few. Henry Cavill was expected to return as the Man of Steel, but he will no longer do so, and another actor will be cast in the role. Cavill took to Instagram to reveal the news, and it seems that while he's sad that he will no longer get to don the cape, he is excited about the future of Clark Kent. Quote, I have just had a meeting with James Gunn and Peter Safran, and it's sad news, everyone. I will, after all, not be returning as Superman, Cavill wrote. After being told by the studio to announce my return back in October, prior to their hire, this news isn't the easiest, but that's life. The changing of the guard is something that happens. I respect that. James and Peter have a universe to build. I wish them and all involved with the new universe the best of luck and the happiest of fortunes. But those who have been by my side through the years, we can mourn for a bit, but then we must remember, Superman is still around. Everything he stands for still exists, and the examples he sets for us are still there. My turn to wear the cape has passed, but what Superman stands for never will. It's been a fun ride with you all, onwards and upwards. Gunn and Safran began their jobs as co-CEOs of DC Studios at the beginning of the month, which we talked about in a previous video, and it's safe to say that the future of DC is looking bright. When the duo was announced by the new Warner Bros. Discovery boss, they released a statement on their excitement for the job, which we're not going to get into right now. I kind of wonder what they're thinking about with looking bright. I don't know how much confidence I have in all this. Obviously, it's a changing of the guard and things are going to be a complete mess right now, but with Cavill, who is a huge fan favorite, first of all, stepping down from The Witcher and giving up his dream role, allegedly because he was tired of the writers and showrunners completely crapping on the lore repeatedly, even though he said he wanted to stick to the lore, and the show should have been focused more around Geralt of Rivia instead of every other character like Yennefer and Ciri. He gave that up, and now he's stepping down as Superman, although this one seems to not exactly be his call. That's really sad, and I'm not exactly excited for what's to come, but we're going to move on to this next article here that we got to talk about. DC Studios' James Gunn writing new Superman movie not starring Henry Cavill. DC Studios' co-CEO James Gunn has confirmed that Superman will be a part of his and Peter Safran's future plans, but not played by Henry Cavill. In a series of tweets posted on Wednesday night, Gunn confirmed that Cavill is not attached to play Clark Kent slash Superman in the initial stages of the plans, as the films will be following a younger iteration of the character. Subsequent reports reveal that Gunn will be writing the script for the Superman movie himself, and while it will not be an origin story, it will center on a younger Superman when he arrives to Metropolis. According to The Hollywood Reporter, Gunn is just attached to write the script, but could potentially direct it, depending on his schedule at DC Studios. According to James Gunn's tweets, he said, quote, Peter and I have a DC slate ready to go, which we couldn't be more over the moon about. We'll be able to share some exciting information about our first projects at the beginning of the new year. Gunn's tweets read, quote, Among those on the slate is Superman. In the initial stages, our story will be focusing on an earlier part of Superman's life, so the character will not be played by Henry Cavill. But we just had a great meeting with Henry, and we're big fans, and talked about a number of exciting possibilities to work together in the future. End quote. Quote, I am writing and have been for a while. Gunn later confirmed, quote, we don't know who is directing yet. End quote. 
This seems sort of like Smallville, which I absolutely hated. I hope Gunn can do something with it and he proves me wrong, but my initial excitement about all this is quickly dying. They just shelved Wonder Woman 3 indefinitely, and it looks like they're shelving everything else too, except for Peacekeeper Season 2. I'm looking forward to seeing Aquaman 2, but everybody predicts it to be a bomb, and it very well could be. Shazam 2, I'm also very much looking forward to. I love Shazam 1, but again, a lot of people are predicting that that will be a bomb. At this point, you can ball up and throw away anything like Aquaman 2, Shazam 2, and Season 2 of Peacekeeper. Even if they're going to be entertaining, who cares? What does it matter? They're not going to be contributing to anything bigger in the DC Universe moving forward. And I'm going to try to hold out some hope, but good lord, they need to get this thing going and it needs to be good and make money right out the gate. I'm kind of disappointed that they're not keeping the good things about DC, but then again, I guess he's just lighting it all on fire and starting fresh. Whatever, I can't totally blame him for that, but we'll have to see how it goes. WBD needs to make money, they need to make money now, and it needs to be a lot of money. And they need to win back a lot of goodwill from the fans. At least we know that Matt Reeves' The Batman will not be touched, and that will continue to go on as planned. What do you guys think? Tell me in the comments. Are you excited for the future of DC? Are you pretty much done with it before it even begins? Are you frustrated like I am? Again, let me know in the comments down below. Also, share this video around with everyone you know, and don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, please, and click that little bell to be notified every time we post brand new content on movies, TV, video games, and of course, pro wrestling. I've been Troy from Arcs on Movies, and we'll see you next time.